<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, so I just got home. <laughs> Chloe just farted. Okay, so, anywho, so I went to Target, um, I don't know, I think it was last week or something like that, and um, I got this for Chloe, and she ended up tearing a hole in it like the same day. So I contacted the company because they were like, hey, we can send you um, a free one if, um, if like you give us the information and stuff like that because I guess it's kind of like a warranty kind of thing but it's like a one-time warranty and look what they sent this thing is so big I don't know what the hell it is a lizard gecko yeah so it says made tough with chew guard technology so we'll see but the thing is with this company is that it's only um like you can only get it like her address I guess so we might have to use my dad's address if this one fails but this is crazy yeah and it didn't even ask for like a receipt or anything it was kind of weird but I'm glad they sent another one look the dogs are so excited we are you excited <laughs> okay we give this to him how cute he loves it Koi don't mess it up Koi Hey guys, so I'm so excited. You see Chloe in the background? She's laying down. Okay, so um, I got some exciting news and I just got a phone call. Okay, so I wanted to tell you a little bit of backstory on my Ross job. So basically, um, my Ross job is part time, 20 to 25 hours. And like the first couple weeks that I, or the first month that I worked, I've been getting 20 hours a week, 20 to 25 hours a week. Um, and then I've seen that it's been going down. So I've been getting 20 hours. This week I actually got 18 hours. And the next week I got 8 hours. So it's been kind of going down. But I think it was because they were kind of pissed off. Because every single time they would call me to come in. I would kind of like say I can't come in. Because it would be my off days, you know. And the thing is, it's kind of hard to pick up shifts when I live an hour away, you know. And especially too when they tell me to come in at this time. And it would already be late. And I would have to add an extra hour to getting ready. And then another extra hour to driving down there. So, it was kind of hard to pick up extra shifts. Like honestly, if I lived down the street, I would totally pick up extra shifts. But I don't. I live an hour away. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of had to take that into consideration. And I know I signed up for this and um, all that stuff. Like I, I am totally, I totally understand that, you know. Um, but it was just hard. So this news couldn't have come at a better time and I feel like oh my gosh I'm like so lucky right now you know and um, so basically I got a phone call today I didn't tell you guys but I had an interview two weeks ago and um, I didn't know if I was gonna get it honestly I thought I wasn't gonna get it at all because I am not good at interviews and um, I say that all the time. I am not the best at interviews. So when I got the Ross job, it wasn't really an interview. Like I literally walked in and I got the job. I just had to, um, you know, tell her my background in jobs and stuff like that. But that was it. So I got picked for this job and it's literally, um, it's on the military base and it's right down the street from where I used to work. So it's just crazy to me. Um, but yeah, I got it for sales associate and it's kind of like, think of it like a mini Walmart for um, the military. So it was so funny, Irving was telling me, you got the job, you got the job or whatever, they might as well, um, you might as well quit Ross right now or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, honestly, I don't think I got the job. I didn't do good in the interview and stuff like that. Um, and um, yeah, I got it. So I owe him sushi. The whole deal was if um, if I don't get the job, he owes me sushi. Now I have to buy him sushi. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, anywho, the good thing about this job is that if I'm there for a year, I get to apply for government jobs. It kind of is like um, your foot in the door to get government jobs. And honestly, government jobs pay really well. They have really good benefits. So, <sighs> Yeah, I'm just so, so blessed right now, and I'm so happy. Um, 
and also another thing that I was thinking about is if I should keep my Ross job because um, because the job that I that I just got is part-time I believe um, but it's anywhere from zero to 40 hours but most likely they she said that they give you um, they like to give you like four days or four shifts in a week shout out to Irving for always 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 believing me he I swear he's like my number one supporter and uh, I love him so much like honestly he's he's literally been there for everything like even when I got the Ross job he would give me gas money because he knew that it was like hard for me to pay for gas and drive an hour away and an hour back um, but yeah he's just so awesome and uh, yeah I don't know why I'm crying <laughs> but yeah he's just so so sweet and um, he's been really really helping me out lately and I'm so so thankful for him so uh, yeah anywho um, this is supposed to be happy so yeah, I can't wait to tell Irving. I'm actually gonna try to record his reaction and see uh, see what he says. Babe. Babe. What's up, man? You got that job? Go ask me fucking Bible sushi. I got the job. <laughs> Babe. How'd you know? Babe, I can tell, nigga. What do you mean? Go as I can get I got this brush off Amazon. It's really cool. It's like when you press this button, it releases the hair. Um, so we're gonna give it a try and see how it goes. I'm so excited. But yeah, this will definitely take less time than that small brush that I have, so. Yeah, we're gonna do a time lapse now. Okay, so this brush definitely did the trick. I brushed him, what was it, a few days ago? And yeah, he looks super good now. His coat, I swear, I didn't realize how much hair he has, but I guess he is shedding it, um, like a lot. But crazy, he has so much hair, but he looks so good. Hey guys, it is so me and Irving just got done um eating sushi we just got back right now um i kind of owed him sushi for when he said that i got the job so it's kind of like a little celebration thing and we also went to ross and it was so weird walking into ross because i work there and it's like i know how everything is ran <laughs> but um yeah so i got some underwear Irving always makes fun of me because i always have holes in my underwear and stuff like that but yeah, I can't help it. I always, <laughs> I don't know. I've never been the person to like buy like underwear and bras and stuff. Just like clothes. So I finished my background check for my second job. I'm so excited. So um, the next step is doing my fingerprints since it is like on a government, um, on a government whatever i have to do like all this background check and uh fingerprinting so my fingerprinting is on thursday so i'm gonna go thursday get that done and then hopefully um after that i get my start date i still haven't told my second job yet that i got another job so we'll see hopefully she'll work with my schedule and um she'll let me work a couple days a week if not i wouldn't be upset if she did she wouldn't want me to work um at all like i wouldn't be upset because it would just save me a drive but <sighs> any other extra little money that i can bring in is always always good so right now i'm actually going to go um to get my fingerprinting done for the second job that i got i'm so excited um i'm kind of in a rush because i have to meet my dad because he knows where the building I'm supposed to go to is and I have no idea where it is because um, he, he basically works around that area. So um, yeah, he's gonna take me. So I gotta meet him there. I'm like in a rush. They're working on our swamp cooler today. We got a new swamp cooler. It's so good and it's 
like so high tech it's better than the one that we had so um yeah i'm kind of in a rush so i and i haven't eaten either i'm so hungry because um the guys are working on it and they didn't leave till they weren't done till like one o'clock and it's 2 51 right now and my appointment's at 3 30 so yeah and then my dad leaves work at three so i have to be there before he comes or uh, before he leaves work so yeah just running errands today um but yeah i just got done getting ready i was supposed to straighten my hair today because it's been like really like flaky lately and i just need to stop washing it so the best solution for that is to just straighten it um because when i straighten it uh, I don't know why but like my hair my scalp tends to get oilier and that's what I need to do so I'm gonna strain it hopefully when I get home but I got a lot of stuff to do after I get my uh, fingerprinting done I have to um, go pick up Irving's tire because Irving's valve stem on his tire I guess broke or something so I have to go pick up the tire for him and then I have to go to my dad's and um yeah it's just a it's just a lot so uh i will vlog whenever i'm done i guess okay so i just got done with fingerprinting it literally took like two minutes to do it got irving's tire man i'm just killing these freaking to do's <laughs> okay so now i think i'm gonna go pick up leo because he really likes seeing his pug sisters and then I'm gonna go to my dad's. I need to get something to eat because I'm freaking hungry, so that's what I'm gonna do too. Leo picked him up, baby bar. Whoa, you happy? I love him. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab McDonald's because I'm freaking hungry. We are actually going to be getting a fence soon for our house, and I'm so excited because now the dogs can run around, and um, yeah, I'm so so excited. Um, Irvine's mom and stepdad are gonna get it and honestly like we wanted to move because like we didn't have a proper yard for the dogs but now that they bought the yard of like the fence for the yard I think we might be staying plus two they just got us a small cooler 